The next part of the training is going to be about the seven ITIL guiding principles. We call them the ITIL guiding principles. I find these guiding principles really helpful, whatever I'm doing. They're not just about IT service management, but they are incredibly useful and helpful in service management. Many of the things we've talked about today are a little bit theoretical and might be difficult for you to do something practical with when you go back to work next week. Although I think thinking about value outcome costs and risks is never going to be a bad thing to do. The guiding principles are supposed to be really practical. They are recommendations that guide an organization in all circumstances, regardless of changes in goals, strategies, in the way of the slides, type of work, or management structure. In other words, they're not transient ideas that might be relevant this week, but maybe not next week. They're universal, they're enduring, and they apply to everybody all of the time. I didn't just make these up. They're kind of distilled ideas. We look through things like Lean and Agile and DevOps and COBIT and lots of other frameworks and ideas, the Toyota production system, the theory of constraints, all sorts of sources of ideas for principles for how to work and how to think and how to make decisions and how to prioritize things. And we distilled them down to these seven. I'm not going to read them out because there's going to be slides on each of them coming. What I want you to take away from this slide is the fact that these are basic principles that will help you. They will help you make decisions. They will help you prioritize work or other improvements. They will help you resolve conflicts when people disagree. And they will just help you do the right thing. They're also very helpful for deciding which bits of ITIL you want to adopt and adapt. Which bits of ITIL do you want to take on board and how do you want to change them to meet your needs? And they apply at all levels to all things. These are not just principles for management to follow. They are principles for everybody to follow. Um, Focus on value, for example, is not just about value for service consumers. Now, certainly, we should be focusing on value for the service consumers, the people that are paying for our services. But if you're not creating value for all of the stakeholders, then somebody's going to get upset, and that's going to cause you problems. So let's look at the individual guiding principles. Thank you for attending this ITIL4 Foundation e-learning course, which is a preparation course for candidates taking the official Axelos ITIL4 Foundation exam, which is conducted by PeopleCert. One World Training is an authorized training provider for all modules of ITIL4, PRINCE2, PRINCE2 Agile, PeopleCert Scrum Master, PeopleCert DevOps, and Service Desk Institute courses, including Service Desk Analyst V8 and Service Desk Manager V8, and many other courses. All courses offered by One World Training are available via e-learning and live online. For enrollment queries, you can contact info, I-N-F-O, at oneworldtraining.com, as you see on this slide. If you've got any questions about anything you have learned on this training course, then you can email One World Training using that same email address as shown on this slide. I hope that you have enjoyed this course, and I'd like to wish you good luck in your ITIL 4 Foundation exam. Thank you, and goodbye.